What's up, sweethearts? Mm -hmm. Welcome back to my channel. I want to ask a quick question. Um, my Ghanaian lovers, uh, the last time I checked, there is free education in the country. Like, every child has access to education and skills, right? Uh, what's the view of the government to early girl child marriage? Is it done in, is it, is it practiced in the country? Is it legal to give us an underage girl to someone older uh, for marriage? Because while other countries are busy trying to develop, trying to get better, trying to make sure they produce um, saner and uh, more useful and intelligent um, adults in the future. Nigeria, on the other hand, is trying to make sure they get children's lives ruined by every means whatsoever. Somewhere in Nigeria, Niger State. They are giving out, the government of Niger State is giving out 100 female orphans for marriage. Like, they are going to conduct mandatory marriage ceremonies for 100 female orphans in the state. I'm just speechless. Like, I don't even know how to feel about this because the last time I checked, giving out underage girls out to older men for marriage is not supposed to be a priority in a country where everything has fallen apart. In a country where there are so many things to be fixed. The best Niger state government can come out with is to give out to force hundred female orphans into marriages, both underage and of age. Who does this? Can this happen in Ghana, please? Let me know in the comment section if this is allowed in Ghana because I do not understand why other countries are focusing on developing and getting things fixed and getting things done better. The, the, the Nigerian government, rather, is trying to go backwards. Giant of Africa trying to turn to dwarf. Like, it has already turned to dwarf in the real sense of it. All it has is size right now. Because... Even the Minister of Women Affairs interfered in the matter and actually threatened them to abort such mission and, you know, uh, that if they go ahead with this act that she was going to, uh, she was going to sue, you know, so she was going to take it up legally against them. And guess what? They are rather threatening her that they are giving her seven days ultimatum to take down her threat, like to take it back. And then they are urging the president, Tinubu, to sack her for telling them not to give out 100 female orphans out for early marriages. These lots did not think about how best to upskill these young girls that their parents are no more. They did not worry about taking them to fashion schools, even if you don't want them to attend universities, at least let them learn skills. Bakery, chef, cooking, anything at all. At least something that they will learn and be able to teach other, other, other children and also make money. You did not upskill them to learn important things. You did not, upskill, you did not even upskill them to learn tech. You are rather giving them out to older men for marriage. And I ask, how is this move going to help the, 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 the society? How is it supposed to add to the development of Niger State? If other men that are supposed to actually protect children whose parents are no more are rather busy selecting which one that they are going to marry, how is the country going to get better? Okay, the, orphan, the male orphans, what help are they rendering to them? Because you cannot tell me that it's only girls that are orphans in Niger State. How about the boys who are also orphans? 
Are they giving them out for sale or they are recruiting them to join the Boko Haram terrorist group? Or are they giving them out to older women to get married to? Because if any sane person who is a parent in Nigeria or as a Nigerian is not upset about this development, then I don't know who else can. Because I do not understand why these people sit down and watch all these things unfold every day like the country keeps crumbling, keeps crumbling. And then some human beings will come on the internet to defend the rubbish. Like it's really very, very disappointing. And... Trust me, this is going to be, it's more like war against, like Minister of Women and Children Affairs is telling you to stop such move you're trying to make. Giving out girls for marriage against their consent, is that not trafficking? Because you are pr probably taking them to give them out to marry somebody who they don't, what do children know about marriage, please? You're going to give them to somebody who they are not going to have any say. They are going to be in, in labor. Yes, they are going to be working and servicing, turning them to slaves. And then they are going to also have no rights to their bodies. Because, I mean, if you've given this old man a, a small girl to be his wife, his, she's his wife. So um, is he supposed to come and take permission from you to do it when she wants it? Who is going to speak for these children? I do not understand this type of thing. How can your fellows be more important to you than the development of your country, than, the, the, that, than help, helping young girls to have at least feel protected? A society that kicks against females, against women. How is that society supposed to get better? It will keep getting worse. These old Niger state men that they, are, they, that they don't even circumcise, they are, they are bola long like my hand, is what you're giving out small, small girls to go and marry them. And then what next? The next thing, they go give them belly, they go born. Full everywhere. Poverty rate could increase. Because often we never see food chop. You marry and give man, we never still see food chop. Not only because they go to chop. And then the next thing, they go born full house. The hunger rate could increase. Poverty rate could increase. Because this giving out 100 girls for marriage, instead of giving out 100 girls, giving out scholarships for 100 girls who are orphans. Isn't that what any sane society is supposed to be thinking about? Or thinking of how to upscale, upskill these girls instead of giving them out to other men to marry them. I don't know if this thing happens in Ghana, Bikunu. Help me. Tell me in the comment section if this is happening in Ghana. I don't understand what is wrong with Nigeria. Um, it's, it feels so shameful every single day being termed a Nigerian. Please, I need to know, my Ghanaians, can the government just wake up one morning and go and start doing research, find out how many girls are orphans in your... In your okay, you just come, the voter region will just come now and say, oh, all the girls who are orphans here, you are getting married both on the rich and of age. Please, can this happen in Ghana? Because I am speechless. I, am, I don't even know how to feel. I am a mother. I have a daughter. I have a son. I do not know how to feel about this news, about this development. And then you will not be surprised if actually the Minister of Women Affairs takes back her threat. And I will not also be surprised if the president fires her like they have requested. Now here we did. You go shock on her say, she go day fired very soon. Or she go retrieve her. The country where nobody can stand for justice. The country is gone. I mean, nobody they wasting hope so it could get better because it keeps getting worse. If this is your first time on my channel, my name is Ella Chilaka, the Queen of Vuna of the Ashanti Kingdom. Please hit the subscribe button, my darling, and share my videos. Please, I need it, I need you to contribute. Give me your ideas and I'll see you in the next video.